up, guys? Welcome to the Homeless Crusade with your resident next guy, Kevin. And I have got two very special guests with me today. One of my best friends and her hubby, who is slowly becoming my other best friend. Got my friend Marie with me, and I got my friend Edens with me. So, I know you guys saw in the previous podcast, I see we have another guest. Um, <laughs> I told you guys that I had a friend who told me that if he had to take me back home and like put me with his Filipino friends, that they would think that I'm just another Filipino friend. Yeah, that's my friend Edens. Call me Cat Williams because I got receipts, y'all. <laughs> but anyways, welcome guys. Right. I know Marie's back home. I feel like it's been two years. Yes, the last time I was here was two years. June of 21. Yeah, it was like two, two-ish years ago. That's we brought Eden some for the first time. Yes. Um, okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious because I know you, you've been in a relationship with this African girl for like a while. So yeah. obviously there was like things you had to get used to because we, we move a certain kind of way, especially our females. I, well, I had to get used to <laughs> her hookah. <laughs> Yeah, to get used to her hookah. Yeah, and mm. I underestimated it at first. Mm-hmm. Um, because when we first met, she liked to frequent this this hookah spot that's in uh, New Jersey. Mm-hmm. It's called Edgewater. Very mm-hmm. nice place. Mm-hmm. So to save money, I, mean, I like to save money. So to save money, I'm like, okay, instead of driving 30 minutes to Edgewater, basically like past the George, a little bit under the George Washington Bridge, mm-hmm. damn near. Instead of driving all the way there, 30 minutes, and then spending 40 bucks on hookah, how about just I just get one. you one? Yeah. <laughs> and then, I, you know, I found one mm-hmm. for cheap. My, fr- my friend had it and then had that set up for her. Mm. And then uh, and then I got it, and then all of a sudden she insisted that I made all her hookahs. <laughs> like, at first I didn't mind. I yeah. didn't mind. I'm like, okay, is this, a, is this a South African thing? But, like, all of a sudden she insisted that. Like, I'm the hookah guy now. <laughs> I think that's just the Marie thing. Yeah, I think that Marie is just, just the Marie lazy. thing. Yeah. <laughs> Go read it to everyone. Um, yeah. 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 And then everyone. The, I underestimated how much, because uh, it created um, hookah specifically. Mm. That hookah specifically created some fights between us. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. No, no, I'm not kidding. <laughs> because we, we go to parties, right? Mm-hmm. And like, you know, I, for me, I like to be present. Uh-huh. It doesn't matter if, if I'm into it or not. If I'm hanging out with Kevin, I'm going to do what Kevin does. Mm-hmm. Be yeah, present, exactly. Yeah. Be present for Kevin. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then my wife would bring the hookah everywhere, mm-hmm. which is fine. That is a, that's a, I think <laughs> that's a, a, a colored culture thing in South Africa. Yes. Like they travel with that. Like you'll have like a, a backpack. And everything for the hookah will be it's right like there. in a person's backpack. It's in yeah, she brought it my with, bag. <laughs> she brought it with us today, guys. She's very, yeah, she, she literally traveled with it. She actually used to be like, hey, can I bring it with us? I was like, uh, sure. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you want to do that. So that that is a, a, a I, okay, kind I didn't of thing. Have a problem. Most, most of my friends, pretty much all my friends, smoke hookah in, in like club settings and mm-hmm. social settings. And beyond that, nobody smokes hookah. Mm-hmm. Right? People smoke cigarettes, but that's besides the point. Mm-hmm. Uh, so she would have the hookah set up somewhere away where like because most of my friends house their kids don't you know they oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. smoke around the kids but that's all marie would do for the rest <laughs> of like if we there for five hours party marie that's would like be the like, whole thing marie mm-hmm. would be in the corner with her hookah i'm like babe come on the mango do something <laughs> okay I'm okay like, my turn now <laughs> wait hold on, hold on hold on i'm not finished i'm not finished like, i feel like this is gonna be the hookah episode but that's okay. like <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then for for a while, I'm like, no, I'm not inviting you anywhere because like it's like me coming to Kevin's house. I'm like, you know what? Um, where can I set up my Xbox? Yeah. And then like Kevin's like, you know what? Set it up in this room. There's a TV right there. And mm-hmm. then now all I do is sit in that room now and play and Xbox. Play Xbox the whole time. Yeah. Like we're having a whole party in the in the rest of the house. And, and you're like, house. and you're like and chilling. Like, I'm like, babe, come on, like you know. <laughs> so that that was a that was a sore point for us. Eventually, it got better. Okay. Okay. That's not just that's not all, babe. Mm-hmm. And you and I both know that I would what? interact, and in, mm. in fact, when I get there, I would sit with him for a while first before I would set up my hookah. Uh. Nice. <laughs> really, didn't, really. I feel like this turned into a couple of things <laughs> episode now, but that's okay. And then when I would eventually set up my hookah, because nobody else would smoke mm. with me, so Things now I. It. I'm instantly alone. And I know that you don't drink, so like, you know, yeah, you're not and sure exactly. So, if mm. everyone already has their whatever's trying to kill them, which is alcohol, yeah. why can't I have what's trying to <laughs> kill me, to kill <laughs> which them. is my hookah? Okay. So, it's like, uh, okay, I'm going to chill with my thing. So, you guys he chill with your took thing. it as, oh, I'm coming with him to his friends. Yeah. 
but I'm not trying to you're, hang out You're not trying to hang out <laughs> Which is not the case. Like even here, oh, right? Word. If mm-hmm. people are in a setting where there's not a lot of people where, that are smoking cigarettes, mm. usually that person or people would move away from the group. Yeah, to go, go smoke. and smoke and come back. Yeah, yeah. like that. Mm. So he d- Okay, fair enough. I mean, He I doesn't get that. I do, I do understand what he mm. <laughs> means as well. <laughs> <laughs> But it's okay. So was that you like the only culture shock thing? Yeah, that, uh, that can't be I've the only there. culture shock. Well, um, no, for the most part, I, I've dated because I live in New York most of my life. Mm-hmm. So for me, dating somebody that's a, from a different culture is, is common from where I live. Yeah, exactly. So there weren't that big of culture shocks. Like she, for her, they were. She thought they were, but for me, I wasn't. I was not surprised. Like, mm. I'm like, all right, cool. You know, there's Dominicans, there's Haitians, there's there's. I think one Middle of our Eastern, biggest like arguments, fights were. You know, I like having my way with all the time, with oh, everything, word. all the time. So I would yeah. get into his car, <laughs> and he would play music, and I'd and switch it like, over, yeah. yeah, and that would piss him off, like full on piss him off to the point where like we had to sit down and have a full on conversation about <laughs> cannot do this anymore. Yeah. And then you're just like in th- having an internal Eventually, battle with yourself. Eventually, it was like, I was like, okay, no, I get it. Well, mm-hmm. that, wasn't, that wasn't a space. culture shock. That no, was that like was something that annoid you. That was just like, a personality. That was just, yeah, a personality yeah. thing. Like, <laughs> a couple of times I almost threw up were at my car because of that. But that's, wow. yeah. that's, that's but the point. I mean, that's the point. Yeah. <laughs> I know her long enough to know that she's like that. But he's like one of my most stubborn friends. I'm a stubborn person myself, but I have I didn't think that I'd meet somebody more stubborn than me. And then, oh, But she, we, we've been friends for like forever. And then I was like, oh, my word. But no, as far as you culture shocks, yeah. when I started to introduce her uh, to what I do, mm-hmm. um, as like as a Haitian man or what yeah. my family does or what we eat mostly, mm-hmm. and that's where the culture shock came. Like, oh, okay, cool. Oh, f- your food is most is vastly different from mine. To a certain extent, I'm, I can't say everything from South Africa is, is mm-hmm. kind of like over mm-hmm. there. But you guys do have ethnic stuff, but yeah, you know, you guys eat steaks and burgers. You know, yeah, I can get steaks and burgers back there. Yeah. You're not and right. chicken yeah. sandwiches because apparently chicken. <laughs> uh, yeah, fun fact too that I found out in the week it was not. I think yeah. it was on Tuesday. Tuesday. For those of you who don't know, guys, in America they don't have chicken burgers. It's called a sandwich. Yeah, if it's not made out. If of it's beef. not made out of beef, it's not considered a burger at well, all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's no, a sandwich. Yeah, it's a, it's a chicken sandwich. So when you go to McDonald's and order chicken, anything, it's not actually a chicken burger. It's actually a chicken. To oh, me, to me, a chicken. sandwich is something that's on bread. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> what we know it as. So like, Edens and I do this thing. Where like, we all will go to the shop or we'll go wherever. I don't know what's up with that fly. Um, we'll go to the shop or we'll go do whatever, and I'll drive around with him and I'll ask him questions about things. And that's how I found out that Americans don't actually sell. They don't eat chicken bur- burgers. It's chicken yeah, burgers don't no exist. There's no such thing. Chicken burgers don't exist. Chicken sandwiches. Yeah. Chicken it's sandwiches. A beef burger. Yeah, one other thing. It's that on a burger bun. It's yes. on a. <laughs> it's chicken. <laughs> Why is it something? Sandwich. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, there's, 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 there's a whole lot of things that that we call certain things that they don't. But yeah, one of the things that I found interesting as well, and Edens and I were having a conversation, and I spoke to Maria about it as well, is that in the state of New York, you could possibly drive for like ten hours, and you would still be in the state of New York. We we like take for granted that you could leave PE at six o'clock in the morning and be in Cape Town in the afternoon. And you would have crossed a border, and you would have left your province and gone to a completely different province. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a, that when I found that out when we spoke about it, I was like, that's weird. Yeah, that, it's yeah. that massive. Yeah, some of the, some of the states in America is is yeah. the size huge. of countries. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. So like you know when you guys watch movies and you <coughs> see that people take a road trip and then like days will pass where they like stay at the motel and then get back in the car the next one and keep driving. Sometimes they're still in the same state. Yeah, they haven't even Sometimes left the state. They, they haven't left the state. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they haven't even left the state, which is wild to me. Because like, then I would imagine that like some states in the U.S. are probably as big as South Africa, more than likely. I think Texas is almost. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to look. But mm. Texas is your guys' biggest state, right? Texas Alaska is huge. Is. Is. Okay, I don't know where Alaska, Alaska is. is. I can't answer that. Alaska is almost the the size of the whole landmass of the continental United States. Damn, that's huge. Okay, no, that is huge. That is I big. fully thought it was Texas. Something that I actually wanted to ask you, because you've been there for like, you left in 2016, si- 2016 like late 2016. October. Yeah, because I remember Violet was like a baby when yes, you left. She was okay. And she's like eight now, so you've been there for a while. Yeah, it's so eight what, I don't know, like, because, okay, so let's, l- l- let's, let's say that Violet and I were going to come up to you guys for like 
two weeks. Mm. What would you tell me, like, before I leave? Like, okay, okay, listen, make sure you got this for your trip when you come up. And also, like, I know you you think that, but don't 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 think that things work this way because it doesn't. Because, I mean, one I saw a video of this American girl that's in, in South Africa. She's been here for a couple of months. And something that tripped her up was that she had to buy data, for example. Like, to me, that's normal. So, like, yeah, to, to me, it's like you just buy data and then you, you have internet on your phone now. But when she got here, she was like, what the hell is this? Like, why do you have to buy a separate thing so that your internet and your phone can work? So, like, I'm going to come to America for, like, okay, I, I think that two weeks isn't even that long. I think two weeks is a short amount it's of time. It's very short. You don't understand spend how there. that will go. Yeah. I, I was it's it one day alone traveling, yeah. It depends on the season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, if you're coming in winter, mm -hmm. we will most likely tell you, you can bring your winter stuff, but we'll buy your winter coat there. Yeah, because nothing not. here is going to make you feel <laughs> warm enough. I've heard that, <laughs> I've heard that uh, the winter in certain certain states can like violate your clothes. Because like even if you're layered, it's still like freezing cold. Yeah, even, even by us, because her mom felt it. Because mm -hmm. um, she was bragging at first. She came, she came she sh a little bit before Thanksgiving. Yes, mm -hmm. two days before. <clears throat> so... We were deep into winter, like mm -hmm. I would say. No, it was still fall. Yeah, in, but in November. Yeah, but even. But even, it was windy. Yeah, but windy. even late December. She yeah. Was still, she was still saying like bragging, like you know what, uh, this it's is not nothing. Cold. It's mm -hmm. not even that cold. We have this mm -hmm. in South Africa, and we kept telling her just give it a wait, second. give mm -hmm. it a second. <laughs> it <was> like, <laughs> give it until so one day we came out. It was um, we woke up and it was a uh, it was like two degrees outside. Damn, okay. It was two degrees outside. Two degrees Fahrenheit is what in Celsius? I don't know. I, I, don't, but know, it's low, but yeah, it's I don't know, but it's, I don't it's know, but 32 degrees is like zero degrees. Um, 32 degrees Celsius, I think, is zero degrees. No, 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 32 degrees Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit. is zero degrees, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. either way, it was... But it was very cold. Very cold that day. And that day we, we purposely... And it was windy too. Mm. Yeah, it was very windy. So the wind chill was like, felt like it was in the negatives. Uh, right. and that day we purposely went shopping <laughs> <laughs> just so we can, so just so she can feel it she was uh, complaining just so she can feel it because you you come out and you the, it's like the cold went through your bones your clothes uh, whatever if you don't have any exposed skin because mm -hmm. you're gonna feel it Damn. and this your is when you fingertips bro when you guys are living in jersey at the time no no in pennsylvania, pennsylvania. yeah you, your yeah. fingertips are so sore mm. because of how cold it gets so i uh, yeah as far and plus there's a uh, america has like you know i can say like abundance i can mm -hmm. say because my large is much is like a, an extra large for you uh, and that that goes with food also yeah oh yeah all right um so they they like I said, it depends on the season. We would tell you to either bring warmer clothes or mm -hmm. extra stuff. But like like she said, we we still buy you things. If you mm -hmm. came in the summer, uh, it would it's it's the other extreme. It's yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's like it's really bad. Uh, really, it's, yeah. it, we would have wow. to tell you because here it gets hot. Sorry, babe. Mm -hmm. Here it gets hot, but there it gets humid to the point where if oh, you are outside, okay. you cannot breathe. Oh damn. Okay. It reminds we, me of Durban, kind of, because Durban gets, we like, We don't sticky. go outside until mm. after 5.30. Oh, after. so, like, when the sun starts going down. Yeah. The sun doesn't go even, doesn't even go down, down. then. Mm. At 9 p.m., it could still be light outside. In Pennsylvania? In the northeast. In the northeast. Oh, in the summertime. In the summertime, in the summertime. Yeah. Damn. Because it's that hot. That's crazy. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, we it's, sleep with ACs on. <laughs> yeah, we would have to tell you to just just get comfortable with the heat if you... If you came, so like in the summer. Yeah. So like climatized basically. Like yeah. Yes. After like three days, I'll be like, okay, cool. I can actually fall asleep and sleep now because like yeah. I'm used to that. It's hot and humid all the time. Yeah. No, it's like, you, yeah, you're sweating even at the shower. Yeah. Step out the shower, you sweat. Ian's usually just showers in gold water in the summertime. Oh, damn. That is insane. And, and I would say get comfortable with people getting you, your nationality wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. my god. Well, I, 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 it happens to me here as well. Um, we actually had a discussion on the on the podcast before. We, um, what I live in, I live in the predominantly Islamic area. So like, they are my every neighbor on each side is Muslim. So like, in my street, there might be like four families who are actually Christian, and then everyone else is Muslim. Okay. So it doesn't help that I live there as well. Um, I, but I look the way that I do. So like, I got like the fair skin and straight hair. Yeah. So people always assume that I'm Muslim. 
Okay. Like, other colored people always assume that I'm Muslim, but when I speak to people from other like races, then they always like, uh, what are you? But I've heard that. You know, I see it. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. So like you when know. my hair is short, I look like a certain kind of Like I wonder if you would get searched at the airport. Extra shirts. <laughs> Extra. <laughs> TSA. Extra. Like, no, but they do, that, they, they do that. Like with oh, him. Seriously? Yeah, with him. When I, whenever I've traveled with him, they always search him. Yeah, my For, like there was a time we went to Miami. They legit okay. had like this the one, little machine thing oh. where they even searched his open hands. There was mm. nothing in his hands, and they were like checking scanning your hands on yeah. his hands. I was like, "What is going on?" I was so weird. confused. Interesting. I was also pissed off because why? Can you imagine discriminating against my husband. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but <laughs> for the most part, I feel I think South Africa, for the most part, is pretty modern. Mm-hmm. So this is not. <laughs> There's, there's nothing you can do here yeah. that, you know, that would surprise you over there. There's nothing over there that would surprise you that much. Yeah. Right? Okay, we clearly don't have load shedding. Unless oh, no, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> right? I, I think, I think unless I don't it's because you're married to a <laughs> colored woman that you yeah. think South Africa is the way it is. But if you were married to a black South African and going to their culture, you would yeah. see how different it is okay. from... It's still very states. traditional, yeah. Okay. Very traditional, like yeah. With, with the ma- okay, so... Quick question: Do you know what lobola is? No. So exactly. Yeah. So that's I should the make thing. him pay it. You. <laughs> it's a bit too late now. He's already. Right. I don't the deal. care. We haven't had a South oh African wedding word. yet. Let, let's go oh, get the cows, wow, guys. Oh, Marie. Let's go. You, you <laughs> to, uh, to say, let's we go can, grab the cows. My grandpa. My grandpa has cows in Haiti. Let's go get those. <laughs> so, <laughs> so in South Africa, there's a tradition amongst like the, the like the ethnic people, Xhosa uh-huh. and the Zulus, I think. But there's a lot of them that do practice it, where when you get married. The f- the female basically gets evaluated. So like, the m- the male will bring his family to the female's family's house, and like he'll bring his uncles, his dad, his older brothers, like all the m- the men mm-hmm. that have like gone through like the different rites of passage and stuff. And then they'll literally sit down and be like, okay, cool. So you want to get married to Marie? All good. Well, she's got a job. She's studying. They'll list she has all these degrees. She's yeah, a virgin. She doesn't have kids. They list all her yeah. like everything so what that's do you good. Bring to the table. Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 so basically, they'll list all the things about it that's good. Like, oh, she's she she's a homemaker. She knows how to cook. She knows how to clean. Da, 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 da. They give you a whole list, and based on that list, they kind of evaluate her and say, okay, cool. So she's worth like ten cows and like eight sheep and. And Which is not cheap, by yeah, the way. Yeah. So then, if you can't provide those animals, like you can't bring the ten cows and bring the eight sheep and whatever, each animal has like an actual monetary value. So you, like a cow, I don't know. Okay, don't guys know. in the comments, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think like a cow alone is like ten grand. I could be wrong. Oh, no. Maybe a sheep. Uh, uh, but anyway, so then you ba- you basically either just give them the cash or you bring the actual livestock and be like, yo, my bill has been paid. I can get married now. And that's how they do it. And also when they have this meeting, um, you have to bring like hard liquor. Nine out of ten times they normally do whiskey. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so you got to bring like a bottle of whiskey, and then the men just kind of sit and like you know swallow their glass and like have uh, this conversation. Marie would never go for that. She's too much of a feminist. <laughs> like you want to evaluate. <laughs> I was gonna say something, yep. but you I was like, oh, I'm yeah. not gonna say anything about somebody else's culture. So let yeah. me just not. <laughs> I know that she, know that like, she wouldn't because like, she's like, I'm my own woman. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's situational for her. I don't listen to her. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, not. it's not situational. Oh my word, I also it. think what like, you'd have a hard time with is, well, my mom had a hard time with is, how mm. far we have to drive just for food alone. Oh, crazy. Okay. Like, if you want to get some food, yeah, like but as you get, yeah. No. Or any, like, we have, we, ta- we eat a lot of like Jamaican food, Dominican food. Oh, nice. Okay. If you want to get some takeaways or something, you just drive around the corner, McDonald's or yeah. KFC is right there or whatever. Mm. Daily snacks, yeah. you know, cooked food type of thing. We it can easily drive up to like 20 minutes just for food. My mother was like, it's so far. Mm. And yeah, then, and like, like ah, it's, a, it's, it's such normal. a normal thing. Yeah. Like, I, or oh, both of us, we could drive to New York. On any given day and come back the same day, even though it's two hours away. Mm. And yeah, it's like, like to my mom, it was like, no ways. Like, it's so It's like fun. an entire mission just to yeah. get like <laughs> some food. It's like, why don't you just stay there, sleep yeah. over? Like, no. Go I've, there and come back three hours later. <laughs> I've heard fine. about, I've heard about that. I've, I've been told, unless you live somewhere, like if you live in a suburban area that is close to like a strip mall or like something along those lines, getting from like, okay, we're gonna go to the mall today. It's normally like, okay, cool. 
you gotta leave now because if you want to be there, like we've got, it's like an hour drive to get from where you live to the mall. We 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 take advantage of the convenience. Like I could walk to Spa if I wanted. Yeah. To. <laughs> I literally yes. walk to spot if I wanted to and walk home. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna, but at the same time, like, I could if I was, if I felt like being, you know, adventurous. We also don't have corner shops, so you can't just go buy oh, your bread snap. and your milk and your stuff. No, they, they In the really Bronx, yes. yes. I'm not saying like that it isn't. You mean yes, bodegas? Yes, they are in bodegas. The hood. Yeah. In the hood, in they the are. Hood. But <laughs> <laughs> I said we, like, where we live. Where yeah. we yeah. live, we don't. We live in a suburban. Yeah, where we live, there's no corner shops. There's Go to the supermarket. That's yeah, it. we go to the supermarket. Uh, okay. But where I so grew like up, spa and type if thing. you need two eggs, you can't buy two loose eggs. Um, <laughs> you have to buy like six eggs, a like carton, no, 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 half, half a dozen, dozen whatever. Yeah, uh, where <laughs> I grew up, I grew up in Spring Valley, New York. Um, mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, the street I was, I lived on. Mm -hmm. If you didn't live there, you didn't go there. Mm -hmm. Like even when I grew you up, mentioned that. Yeah, we spoke about even, that. Even as I grew up, I, as I grew up, mm -hmm. if I asked someone, someone for a ride home. <laughs> And yeah. they and then I tell them where I live. They're like, no, no, I'm not going. Flat mm. out, they're like, no, I'm not going. Yeah, we have an area yeah. like that in PE too. But there, <laughs> he knows about Katanga. <laughs> We've driven through he it so many times. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but there is like yeah. there's corner shops that go there. Like growing up as a kid, it was easy for me to walk down the street. Yeah, because you know? you're from there, yeah, so it's easy. Yeah, it was well, not just that. Like corner stores are common depending on where you are, mm -hmm. and very uncommon in other places. Mm. So it's not like they don't exist. They do. They do. You know? But, it just but it's on not the everywhere. They, yeah, mm. it depends on the neighborhood. Some neighborhoods will not have a corner store yeah. because that's. But it's also most. Uh, I think it's more in the like black neighborhoods and yeah. mm. Hispanic mostly. Yeah. Mm. So like in the hood. In the hood. In the hood. In the hood. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it makes sense mm. because it's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Uh, yeah. Like we hey, have yes I know okay I'm sure you because I know Westring also kind of have corner shops but I mean it's nice <laughs> like the corner shops in like in in the suburbs yeah it's it's not even like a you can't even call it a corner it's shop like because it's like little it's mini mall yeah mini, it's like mini a mini it's like a bodega you can it's basically like a bodega okay. but like they don't sell as much like you know like, like you know you can go to a bodega and get like cooked food at yeah. our bodegas you don't really yeah, find that. Like, like they'll have like a little bacon warmer. egg and cheese. <laughs> yeah, you'll be able to get like a yeah, you'll be able to get like a sandwich at no, a bodega. Yeah, you can get like a pie, for example. Mm. You can get that, but like the pie has been in that warmer for like five days. So yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it if I. <laughs> I, I, I still go when I'm in when I'm in New York. Uh -huh. I still go to the to the corner shop. I used to frequent as a kid yeah. to buy bacon egg and cheese sandwich. Oh, and it's so good. It's like, it's, mm. and it's, it's the when I was pregnant. Ever. But it's mm. like it's so the good. Best yeah, but egg and <laughs> when I was pregnant, around, like, like I couldn't eat a lot of food. I was uh, throwing up everything, but mm, slapped. You, with, when you were pregnant with Eden or with, with Tukane? Because ah. we still lived in New York then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It slapped. I loved it. So uh, I wanted to ask you about something because we're talking about it now. So remember when we went, we went to Clary Park to go and do it if you guys need it. And then when we came back, I promised Duke I'm going to buy him a lollipop. And yeah. we went to the shop around the corner. Yeah. When, so that wasn't the first time you were at that shop, the one around the corner from the house. That was the first time, yeah. That was. Was the it the first time? That was the first time. Was I, it? I didn't even know it was there. I remember. I remember. <laughs> there that it was there. Yeah, 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 the one like you know, as you go around the bend, there's a shop that you have to walk up the drive. Because he kept saying, shop. "Oh, he kept yeah, saying, yeah, no, yeah, There's a shop on the street. There's a shop on the on the street." <laughs> yeah. I'm like. And then when he got up to him, like, oh, okay. Yeah. Someone turned the garage into a shop. But what, yeah. what I think is so hilarious is because like you go to a bodega there by us or whatever, mm -hmm. right? It's just open, like it's just normal open. You can speak to the person here by us in the There's color. Like it, it's like a whole like closed off area. It's just a small piece that yeah. you can see. It's <laughs> big enough to get your bread out there. Yeah. Of you bought, like, that's <laughs> but that's because they're in, they're in the real hood. Yeah. yeah. I think like, not like not like you guys. I think Eden's and I, I, I no. think he underestimated how what like he was in the hood hood when he yeah. <laughs> Cause, <laughs> you. Yeah. No, because it's 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 difficult for me because you asking me what I think about. Uh, life in South Africa here in certain parts. Mm -hmm. if, if if Marie had um, you know a different man than other than me, like a white guy or mm -hmm. or or a black guy that grew up solely in America, mm -hmm. then then yeah, there would be a huge culture shock. Yeah, because yeah. he would be it's, like yeah. But but for me, a lot of it is just normal. I grew up I grew up in Haiti, and a lot of parts of Haiti don't have electricity. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the bathroom is outside where oh, you yeah. know uh, it's. Yeah, from so, what he's told me, it is also very different from. Yeah, like and mm -hmm. a lot of it, all the same is the same, and a lot of it is different. Yeah. There's yeah. some parts of you know, of around where Marie live, even maybe parts of Katanga that would be like I would like ah, 
This looks familiar. I recognize this place. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like, familiar. Ah, it looks familiar. Yeah, it's like <laughs> right, so. Like it looks so. Does it look that familiar to the point where you'd be like, I, I you'd walk around there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I feel you. I wouldn't walk around in Katanga. Thing is, we we know. <laughs> so to us, like, I'm not gonna stop the car, yeah. But like, can we just let the car I'm roll? I'm too scared. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Even last night we had Billy's house, right? Mm-hmm. My cousin in Galvin and sent me the way to go buy alcohol in the hills. Oh, lovely. Where and I now, grew up, yeah. I now I'm up. sitting in the car. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so scared. Send me left the window open. I'm like, am I safe here? Yeah. Because I, I don't, I, I don't go there. Yeah. Obviously. And it's, it's not because I was in America for so long. No. no. But I just don't go there. Yeah, because I mean, we went out. Um, like the f- first time I saw you when you were here, we went out and we drove through Galvin. So it's like you like. You yeah, think I grew up in Galvin. Nothing changed. I lived in Galvin. I was you even showing remember. you like the house where I was no. born so n- in. Nothing really changed. It's just that like you also still remember. Okay, cool. This is not a very safe place. To yeah. <laughs> Unless no. you know people. Even even growing there. up there, I never went there. Yeah. Type of I grew thing. up there though. Like I literally spent most of my childhood into my adulthood because my granny lived there. My, gra- my, my grandparents' house is still there. Yeah. So to me, like my normal. my grandmother lived in Gobers Road, so I know. Yeah, so you know that. Like part. I know the ghetto. Yeah. I used to live next to my grandmother. I know on that corner they swipe tire <laughs> a lot. In <laughs> fact, my aunt, my uncle, and his kids now for Guy Fox, his boss mm-hmm. Guy Fox, literally was shot at with like rubber bullets because they wouldn't stop swiping tire like yeah. swiping tire burning the tires. Have you heard about that tradition? Guy I Fox. Have. Yeah, it's quite a quite an interesting one. We have I, I don't think anyone I don't think anyone actually knows like where it started I or like what it's actually about. But you know that you know for the that uh, for, for Guy Fawkes Day because mm. that same Guy Fawkes who tried to blow up a church and then it actually didn't, ended up not happening. Mm. So now we like we we throw fireworks and like you know we light rockets and shit. There's this tradition in South Africa where they grab an old car tire and attach like a long piece of wire to it and set it on fire and just swing, swing it in it. circles. That's the tradition. Yeah, for that's then. just it. That sounds great. <laughs> I remember growing up as well. <laughs> that sounds like I, a sight to see. Yeah, yeah. Really we used to stand on the balcony and yeah, watch it right down. Yeah. So my grandmother was on the corner. Yeah. So you see everything. And on that intersection where like the, the two roads cross, yeah. there's a big open, yeah. you know, yeah. like, <laughs> right there in the middle. And like it'll be at a time where like it'll be like six six o'clock in the evening, seven o'clock in the evening, that's when it starts. And people are like trying to get home from work, like on like in buses and whatever. And these guys are like, mm y'all ain't going home. Just need to get this. Yeah. yeah. I remember like when that. I was the year I was at St. Thomas, I was in my eighth grade year, two thousand and eight. Yeah. That's when Marina became friends. Yes. Yeah. And Damn, we I know you long. <laughs> we came home from school because like St. Thomas is literally up the road from my grandmother's house. Yeah. Uh-huh. And we came home from school, me and my cousin Sean Ray and as we get to my grandmother's house, like guys came up from one side of the street and the other side of the street. Some people had um, those water balloons mm-hmm. and the others had um, shoe polish. Mm-hmm. That was also, I don't know how it mm-hmm. is now, but there was also a thing where they would like smear you, so they would call it smear you, where no, they take the shoe polish and like- Smack you in the face. All over yeah. the face, babe, like you black out the <laughs> shoe polish. <laughs> yeah, the others were like trying to get to, oh, like throw polish. us with water balloons and stuff. Luckily for us, as they all meet in front of my grandma's house, we got into the yard and like closed the gate. So nobody got us through. I was so scared that day. Yeah. They were like, we were writing exams on Guy Fox. I, I used to hate that. So happened. nar. I used to hate <laughs> and we have to happened. walk home. Yeah. We, you know it's not safe because they're going to get you. Yeah. Or they're going to try, choice. at least. Yeah. They're going to try. Yeah. That's weird. Do you, I want to actually want to ask you because we brought up traditions now. Is there anything. Okay, I know that we adopted Black Friday from America, but I- is there anything else that when you were there, besides like, okay, I know that obviously Christmas and like Easter, but is Easter as big there as it is here? Because Easter year is huge. Mm-mm. It, Easter, yeah, it is. I, I, I would say in to certain people, but certain we cultures, haven't yeah. really celebrated, yeah. even though I'm Catholic and it, yeah. we haven't really <laughs> celebrated yeah. it. And I've and never also seen people really celebrate it. Yeah. Because I mean, Easter over there is very different from Easter mm-hmm. here. Like, yeah. Like, they celebrate a bunny. I mean, we do too, kind of. Yeah. Mm, not really. Kind like, you will, we will go to church. Yeah. Easter for Good me, Friday, I, yeah. Ash Wednesday. Mm-hmm. They do do Ash Wednesday. I won't okay, even... Okay, they okay, do cool. do that. Mm-hmm. But it's more so for kids. Like yeah, I know that's like Easter egg hunts. And yes, they do Because I've kids. I've been in the on the American side of it, in the Haitian side of it, mostly. I was is more tradition, yeah. not religious. Yeah. Sorry, I was is yeah. more religious than theirs. Is more about 
how much candy, how much stuff my kids can get. Yeah. How much it's like a stuff. safe it for gets, Halloween kind it of gets, thing. It gets commercialized. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. It get, that part of it gets commercialized where, you know, there's there's... There's a shit ton of candy that gets sold. There's commercials about Easter, mm. um, but but that's everything also in the states. Mm. Yeah, but for me, um, Easter in the well, since I live around mostly uh, like a Haitian community, uh-huh. and my dad kind of forced us to go to uh, to church <laughs> yeah. when I was a kid. <laughs> but Easter among Haitians is is like time to go to church. Yeah. Time to you know. Good Friday. Okay, it sounds like it sounds like, it's like yes, it's more, like it's, it's more and like it's more like and it's a little us. bit more serious mm-hmm. than because I I can talk about how America um, celebrates Easter, mm-hmm. but, I, but I'm looking at it from the outside. I'm used to seeing it, mm-hmm. and I've had people participate in, and you know, um, they had the huge Easter egg hunt at the park. We took we took Duquesne to well, it was mm-hmm. kind of too late, so we didn't participate. Yeah, mm-hmm. but then you see that's what it is. They make it into this whole festival yeah. type yeah, of thing. Yeah, f- and then uh, like the day we took Duquesne, there was it, I, I don't even know if they like separated it into groups of like ages and stuff because oh, everyone was there and all the small kids massive. are getting sore. It's just it was a lot. It was, it was massive, I, but yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's why I don't celebrate it anymore, mm. kind of because. It's so commercialized, like. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I don't it, feel the need to. It's just about candy. Cause yeah, because when, when you're in America, Easter comes up. Yeah, it's gonna be about Easter Bunny finding the Easter eggs, mm. and it's gonna be mostly about that for the most part, unless unless you come across a re- really religious family, mm-hmm. yeah, and that's what they're gonna be doing for that weekend is going to church and praying and stuff. Yeah. But for the most part, that's what you see decorations. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna be Schemas fluffy and eggs and bunnies, mm-hmm. and yeah. that's what you'll see. So then, with that being said, so the, uh, in Haitian culture, are there are there any kinds of like kinds of food that they would make specifically around Easter time? No, um, fish. You just have like a fish. Oh, <laughs> holy shit! I would have never expected that. Yeah. So I think that's more Africa, of like a Catholic thing, though, I think Christian thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, we, but how is it like just like fried fish, or is it like prepared a certain way? Well, no, the, I made pickled fish for him. I was just about to ask that now. So, <laughs> I made pickled fish so, for him. Remember so the pickled fish with the onions and yeah, the stuff? No. I made that. You for, guys don't have for that. You, when you guys, I'm sure you'll show your, your friends back on, but for viewers over in the States, in South Africa, one of the biggest traditions, especially amongst, like, I'll just say the brown people, because only the brown people do it. Like, most colored people, um, actually all colored people actually do it. And... Others who've just adopted as well, they make a thing called pickled fish. So like you get like a massive amount of fish, yeah, and you fry it up and batter it however you want to, and then they make like brine. But some of them do it like very fancy, where they add like slices of peaches and all sorts of like every household so or every family basically does it a certain way, and that gets made like is it on Easter Friday? Huh? It yeah, gets I made or like so. the, I, I think the day before, anyways. But it gets made around Easter time, and then. All the fish you fried gets put into this massive dish with the brine and it gets put into the fridge and it just hangs out there until the next day, until it's like Easter weekend. And then for the whole Easter weekend, <laughs> it is like the only thing you're really allowed oh, to yeah. eat. She did that. I made it. Yeah, we, it's she like made that. In, in you fact, can't have anything else besides pickle fish that whole weekend. We ate the pickle fish that I made. <laughs> we ate the pickle fish that I made and uh-huh. then I had to make it again the following week. <laughs> yeah. Because we, like, we enjoy enjoyed it, it yeah, so it was much. Was it good? It was very good. It was very good. Um, okay. <laughs> I want to ask a question before you. Uh, I'm going to ask her something. That I want to see if you did it or not because I want to know how respectful he was. At any point in time, did he put the fish in the microwave or did he eat it cold? He eats everything cold. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> you don't care. Oh, I wouldn't say that it's an unwritten rule. But yeah, like around, it, especially okay, I don't know about any other parts of the Africa, but in South Africa, in PE specifically, it's like, you know, like when you go to a restaurant and then they say like when they cert- if you go to certain restaurants and you put like, what you call ketchup on your food, mm-hmm. it's an insult to the chef. Yeah. If you take pickled fish from the fridge, put it in the plate, and you put that in the microwave. You gotta get into a fight. Well, well, she met the right one. <laughs> yeah. Because because you just like, I I prefer yeah. to to yeah. if I'm hungry enough I'll eat take something cold. out the fridge and just anything. Eat it. I I don't Kevin, care. Kevin, any. I don't care because it's it's. It that bothers me because you can't eat cold pizza. Ah, uh, like, okay, that I do agree with. I can't. Yeah, I listen, certain like he'll come home and he's yeah. starving, but he won't take the two minutes to put it in the mic. Nah, if it's out, he's going to take it and eat. Yeah, but... I can't, it bothers me. I cannot person. eat cold food. <laughs> I'm the type of person okay. that likes to reheat things on the oven. 
Oh, okay. okay. Yes, on the that's stove, also like true. Like, I like to reheat things because... So, basically, cook it, it from over. Yes, yeah. like, we'd make, like, let's say, curry and rice and whatever, right? Mm-hmm. For me, I would take, like, rice and curry and then put it in the microwave mm-hmm. in a plate and mm-hmm. I heat it up and eat it. Nah, you must heat everything up on the stove. Like, put yeah. oil water from scratch. Like from all, all the rice that we already cooked, you must will put it on again. the stove again because he's now... Uh, Everyone must eat when he eats. That's why <laughs> I don't understand. Kevin, it tastes better. I, I it agree with you. It tastes better. I do agree with you. I'm I'm not a stranger to having like curry for supper the night before, and then when I want to eat it again, I'm like, just turn it in the stove. Like, no, we can heat this up. Yeah. In the stove, like, swallow the pot. Yeah, but around. now you heating up all the food. Yes. For what? All right. <laughs> because you're gonna be the only one eating. I know, but I, I just. He is right when he says it tastes better. To me, it's yeah. It tastes better. I, we, kinda... Like I yell at him because he does the mm. same thing with my kids. I will tell him, "Hey, Edens, heat up this portion of food for Dukain. Mm. Nah, the whole thing. The whole and now Dukain will only eat the portion I told him <laughs> to eat up. Now the rest of the food, what must I do with it? Well, at least it's not gonna like spoil because it's okay. Let's say it's pasta. Nothing. Pasta okay. after you eat it up too many times, like he said, he likes to put it in the oven on mm. the stove. If you it eat it up too up, many yeah. times. Yeah, it dries up and it's mm. like soft and like breaks apart. Now my child must eat broken pasta. No, it's, <laughs> I it's can't. Nice. Not it bothers me answer. so it's much. Gonna eat, gonna eat. I can't. That, uh, now, that we, now that we're on the topic, how often does she yell at you? Uh, Every day. At home? Every day. Because like, you need Every to understand day. you're dating a, a brown, brown girl from South Africa. It's not like, yeah, she's, she's a... Listen. Yeah. Every day. <laughs> if I yelled at him today. I was I I'm so sure that you did. Yes. Because <laughs> initially so, like I was we, uh, g- we were gonna bring Dukain with us, so I'm like okay. I'm getting Dukain stuff ready and I tell him go inside and go get Dukain's food. Yep. Listen, in He's, my defense. No, this, this is this is exactly what he In did. my defense. Uh, set. In I my told him de- get up and do yeah. what you're supposed to do. Here's the Uber. In my defense, I was drinking with South Africans last night. Yeah. That's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> like you need to learn how to handle your liquor I at was that point. With South Africans last yeah. night and and I was still recovering. I mean, no joke. It's I think that's I a big culture shock to a lot of Americans, just also, by the way. What's that? How South Africans drink. Oh. They cannot handle it. Well, it's not like we can't handle they it. They cannot handle it. I'm, 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 these not, I'm not even speaking of just my husband. I'm uh-huh. talking about from like other friends that uh-huh. brought their husbands here. They are so shocked when you go to sleep drunk mm. and then for breakfast you have another beer. Uh-huh. Like they like, what is this? Why do you not stop drinking when do you eat? Yeah, and that's just how people <laughs> drink, <laughs> and I'm they are like very that. confused. I'm not like that, but I've seen it obviously all my life. So I've, it's like I've I don't drink. It. So. I've seen it because I got here um, Monday. Mm-hmm. We I think we drink all day Monday, all day Tuesday, and that was the day of the baptism, I think. Yeah, mm-hmm. Wednesday night he drank. And Thursday we left for Cape Town. He drank that night. Yeah. Also, he arrived in South Africa last uh-huh. week, Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Right. He arrived. Here it was last this past week. Sunday? Was it? Was yeah, a week this, ago, yeah. The, yeah, it was a week, a week ago. Yeah. He arrived, and he hasn't apart for, like he arrived that day. But you left on the Saturday, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Saturday was the last time Eden's had water. Until lo- <laughs> until this past Thursday, I yeah. I had like he didn't drink water from last week Saturday until Thursday. Yeah. I had, I had, I had some to like water. force that him. explains. I had some water this morning. Yeah, you had to have water this morning. <laughs> <laughs> you have a choice. <laughs> Everything that was gonna <laughs> fix you. But but no, it's it's even my last trip here. Mm. Um, they ca- it caught me off guard because mm. I don't drink like that anymore. Exactly. I don't. I don't you're drink. Dad of two now. It's not just that. <laughs> I, I don't drink to the point where like I'm. He so doesn't I'm, get drunk. I get. I get to. The, I drink to the point where like mm-hmm. I'm tipsy. Where like you, you know, you drink enough to feel brave mm-hmm. for a little bit, and then after a few hours it goes away, and then yeah. you can drive. I don't get like. Drunk. He doesn't. Yeah. Like, yeah. For it's, as long as we've like, been married, I've seen him drunk, one and, time. And the alcohol goes so quick, bro. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's it, like yeah, I buy a bottle. Does. I bought. You saw how many, how many beers I bought last time. Yeah. And it's vanished. It's yeah. like, it was like, I'm like, damn, guys. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Given these people that day you uh, were there, they drank until like half past 12 and nice. Like, damn. I have, I have, you know, I drink a couple beers. I was going to say that long. Yeah. You know, but I don't drink like that anymore. And then uh, my first trip here caught me off guard because I'm hanging out with her family. I'm meeting, you know, cousins for the first time. We yeah. rented out this Airbnb at Jeff's, mm-hmm. Jeffy's Bay. And it caught me off guard because of the fact that it's local alcohol, mm-hmm. right? Um, there's not so much um, 
because you're already in there. Yeah. So yeah. You're, not, you're not feeling sick. Mm. And it's not getting you drunk right away. Mm. So I'm speaking to this guy. I'm sipping. I'm speaking to that guy. And he's drinking something different. I'm sipping. <laughs> I'm speaking to that guy. And then and, and, and what also shocked me is that it feels like the alcohol never stops flowing. Like, never. Yeah, it doesn't. His, his glass was right? never and, I'm, yeah. and I had to learn how to drink slow in South Africa. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, you have to sip. Yeah. Right, I have to sip because I'm used to like, oh shit, it's alcohol. You know, I down it. I down it. Mm-hmm. But if I down it, like within seconds, it's filled back up. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't matter who sees the glass it's empty, like, they will. Doesn't matter. If somebody from up. somewhere. Oh, Eden's. Oh, your your glass. That's is empty. Sebi was yeah. legit just saying that I'm this like, morning. I'm yeah. like, bro, <laughs> <laughs> take it easy. It's like, Damn. It's like it gets to the point. Like my stomach yeah. is out here. I'm like. I know you've had just as many glasses as I, I've had. <laughs> How come I feel like this? <laughs> You know, and 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 I, I remember the first time because the alcohol is is locally sourced, mm-hmm. it creeped up on me. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it didn't. He it, didn't realize because right. like you talking to everyone, you're socializing. Mm-hmm. You're not sitting down. You're not yeah. relaxing. So I was still breastfeeding my son faster. that mm. that time. So I was. I told him I was like, "Hey, come to the room with me. Mm. I need to pump." Mm. Went into the room. I'm still talking to him. Mm. Seconds out. later, knocked out. Sounds right. about right. Like it just full it on. hit me like a Mack truck. We went from zero to one hundred. Yeah, <laughs> like you fell asleep like so that. Like so. And then, so and then I woke up in a different yeah. room. I remember waking I, up in a different you room. You see how tall this man yeah. is compared to me. Yeah, I had he's to a bit taller than me. Pick yeah. this man up mm. and take him to the other room. Lovely. He didn't yeah. even know we got there. I had to take his clothes off. I was I like, you know what? I was like, never again, South Africa. <laughs> and then you did it again, anyways. And then there's no, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. This time. I wasn't drunk. Yeah. No, he wasn't. I my was mother drunk. even asked me last night because uh-huh. my dad was drunk. Mm. My mother's mm-hmm. like, was Eden drunk? I'm like, no, he was fine. Yeah. Like, he was still very normal. Yeah. It's just, the, it's just the fact that we make so many different alcohol. <laughs> mm-hmm. When I woke up this morning, it made me feel sick. Ah, uh, I That's see. what it is. Before we, okay, before we continue this conversation, because I know there's like a few more things I want to ask you guys. We're going to take a quick break and we'll see you guys back in a second. 